Do you got an old classic car or truck that uh, you just want to put a Holly Sniper kit on? Not necessarily for performance value, which they do have a performance value, that's for sure. But reliability, fuel economy, and performance, of course. Um, myself, I have a 283 and an old 66 Chevy half ton. I wanted to put the Sniper on that because I've installed one or two of them before. Let me show you what I got here and we'll go through what actually you're all gonna need. So I ended up getting the 550-516, which is basically this four barrel um, fuel injection system. I got it in the gold. I think that's the, where the 516 comes in. Um, I think this one's good for up to 450 horsepower. I could be wrong on that. But it's a nice system. It comes with, of course, the fuel injection unit. It comes with the, uh, you know, the, the handheld programmer. Um, I usually mount these on the dash. It's a good place for them. Uh, they come with the O2 sensor. Um, they also come with this neat bung that you can actually just clamp on if you don't want to weld a, a bung in. I usually just weld them in though. Um, comes with a temperature sensor. And then, of course, your stylus and stuff there. Now, with the Complete Master Kit, it comes with some extra stuff as well. Um, you get, of course, we got more wiring there. Always wiring with these things. You get your inline fuel pump. And then you get your, um, your two filters. One is pre-pump, one is post-pump. You also get these fittings people always say they're random fittings but they're not so these two those two are for the uh they come off of the unit here itself this one comes off of the the bung in the fuel tank which this is the bung for the fuel tank the reason you need a bung in the fuel tank is you need to return to the fuel tank right so we're going to come off of we're going to come off of the existing line but we need a return and what these little washers here for, and these nuts here are for this 90, goes back into the tank. I'll show you all that when we go for the install. We'll be doing that soon enough. In my case, um, my truck has points. And like I said before, it's a two barrel. So I need to switch over to a four barrel intake. On the small block Chevys, you know, be it a 283 uh you know 305 350 blah 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 um you can just get these these cheapies 2701 is, is the performer intake manifold i think they retail for around 260 bucks canadian or something like that um and because i'm running the sniper I may as well do myself a favor and throw on a new hei ignition distributor as well and get rid of the points while i'm doing that okay well you know we're running the electric fuel pump so i'm going to remove the mechanical and i'll put in this block off plate um you're going to need studs to go off this manifold into the holly so get those you don't just it's just stuff you don't want to forget and then of course you're you know a nice chrome uh, uh, water neck there for the for the thermostat housing so you get yourself that that'll look nice on there right of course it will get yourself your studs get yourself your block off plate get yourself your distributor your intake manifold and your master kit and you're going to be golden if you got a ford or a dodge same kind of stuff applies Mm, just might be different uh, you know obviously you wouldn't use the chevy intake and the chevy distributor but you'll still want to get a distributor and an intake and uh, a block off plate and the studs and the thermostat housing and get yourself a nice master kit and uh be sure to check back when i install this kit because it's going to be fun and i'm going to show you how we run a return line to the the in cab tank. Uh, a lot of guys kind of struggle with that, but it's pretty simple. I imagine if you looked around enough, you'd probably find somebody else who did it as well. Um, but I'll show you how I do it. 
and we'll get all of this put into a 1966 C10 in no time. All right, thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so.